In this question, we're given that it takes five cups of milk for every four eggs to make homemade ice cream. And we have to determine the number of cups of milk we'll need if we use 20 eggs. Okay, let's get a visual here. So we need five cups of milk and then for every four eggs. So this becomes our ratio of milk to eggs, which is five cups of milk for every four eggs. So milk in the top, eggs in the bottom. And we want to know how many cups of milk we'll need. So let's let x be the number of cups of milk we'll need. And we could use any variable. We don't have to use x. We could use a question mark, whatever you want. And of course, it will go in the top where the milk uh, part is. And in the bottom would be the number of eggs we're going to use, which is 20 eggs. And what we can do is make this ratio into proportion by setting these equal to one another. So now what we do is take this proportion and solve for the unknown, which is the x. Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. Let's look at method number one, which is to cross multiply. So we'll go 5 to 4 equals x over 20. And what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply. So when we do that, 5 times 20 becomes 100 equals 4 times x is 4x. And if we want to isolate the x by itself, then what we have to do is divide both sides by 4. And when we do that, we see that the 4s cancel out. And on this side, 4 goes into itself once, goes into 125 times. So x equals 25. Or in other words, we're going to need 25 cups of milk if we use 20 eggs. Another method you could use in this case is the horizontal method. And what this means is if we put our proportion down here again and ask ourselves what did we do to 4 to get to 20? Well, what we did is we multiplied by 5. So whatever we do to the bottom we should do to the top. So in this case, we'd also have to multiply the top by 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. And again, 4 times 5 is 20. What we can see here is that these 20s match, so therefore x must be 25. You could have also done it going the other way. We could have looked at the 20 and said, what did I have to do to 20 to get to 4? Well, we had to divide 20 by 5 to get to 4. So whatever we do to the bottom, we got to do the same to the top. So what number would we divide by 5 in order to get to 5? Well, that answer is 25. In other words, this would be 25 divided by 20 again. And therefore, we know that our answer is 25. Notice that what we're doing to the top and bottom is either multiplying or dividing, not addition or subtraction. It has to be either multiplication or division. Okay, so using both of these methods, what we've found out is that we will need 25 cups of milk if we use 20 eggs to make our homemade ice cream.